Oh, welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to do some upgrades uh, to our base, our uh, horde base here. Um, if you guys caught the last horde uh, on 140, then you'll know that uh, the da the base took the most damage it's taken so far since I started using this base. Uh, still held up very well overall, but, I mean, the hordes are only going to keep getting worse as our game stages go up. Um, so I've been thinking about a couple of things uh, that we're going to do to to improve the situation. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to move, uh, I'm going to enlarge my cage. So right now it's basically three blocks back. I'm going to make it five blocks back so I have a little more clearance uh, for the explosions. Because if I'm not standing all the way back up against the wall... Um, when a when a bomb goes off, even right here by the trap door, um, it'll kill me. And the, and I ac accidentally killed myself in the last horde night right towards the end of it because I <laughs> kind of dozed off a little bit. I, I didn't doze off. I spaced off because everything was going so smoothly. Um, so I'm going to give myself a little more space. And I'm going to also change uh, the way that I get into the base here. And I'm still kind of thinking that thinking about that, so I'll just kind of show you as it comes together. And then the other thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put some fence posts um, in both of the front corners of the base here and put the other end here and here and then cover it up. And what that's going to do is it's going to have a fence post running this way and one running this way. And I'll have the end of the fence post in the cage with me so that I can repair them. And that's going to the zombies are still going to be able to come in, but once they hit the post here, then it's going to stun them. And that's going to do a couple of things. It's going to help reduce the amount of damage that they're doing inside the cage. And uh, it's going to stun lock them. So when I throw bombs in here, um, you know, more, hopefully more of them get blown up, or at least that's the theory. Uh, so those are the changes we're going to make. And um, I finished repairing everything, and I got started breaking some stuff, and I got to thinking, well, I should actually probably start the camera and maybe, you know, do a little bit of a build episode as we make these changes. So, again, um, I'm probably going to just time-lapse this and put on some more music like we did when we built it and uh, see how it comes together. All right, so I hope you guys enjoy the music. Let's do this.
finished everything here. This little hole's kind of a pain in the butt because it it bleeds the dirt over there, so I don't know what to do about that. It does kind of get in the way too, and I wonder if that had anything to do with why the Zoms tore this ramp up on the last Horde night. So yeah, I'm not sure why the damn thing does that, but is there, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess I could put a block in there. It looks kind of weird because it's off from the everything else, but it's better to have them tear stuff up. Okay, well, anyway, uh, we're pretty much done, except for I just need to enclose um, these fence posts here. In fact, yeah, let's get that done now. So we're going to go uh, with the flat pieces again and just, um, yeah, I guess we'll just do this. Here, let's do a, oops. Copy rotation. And then we'll flip this around. Like so. And then we'll do the same thing on the front here. It's not likely the Zombos will mess with any of this, but you never know, so we'll get it all secured and I guess we could just put another door in here um just to close it off is that gonna here let's just do this we got the resources yeah so I'll just I'll put a door there here let's also do this There we go. Okay. So yeah, uh, I'll get that upgraded to steel. Uh, also, but I need to make some more steel because I'm almost out. I'll probably upgrade at least the second block on this to steel. Because the zombies will probably hit on it. I mean, they hit on the other one that I had. But yeah, we... Uh, we got a pretty nice little setup here now, so we this is basically how we get in to the base. There's no longer a a door bridge that I could accidentally leave open. We'll get zapped if I touch that. Oh, guess not. And uh, you know, because these are the end of the fences, I can repair them right here. Um, so that'll work pretty good. I don't know why that one doesn't show any damage. It should, because I did run into it. And this is how I repair this center fence. I just don't have any electrical parts on me at the moment. And yeah, I think we're good. So uh, the improvements are pretty obvious, but we'll talk about them anyways. We put the, I, I put a sledge a junkie turret up on top there to help with buzzards. We have uh, more space now. So, you know, with the mist throw, uh, since we're five blocks back, we should be okay um, on anything that goes through here. Now let's try something for science this might kill me but it's for science so if i just throw it accidentally throw it and it lands there is that going to kill me nope okay because these are these are a four block radius now grenades are five block radius and i might start using those at some point so that could be a thing but we'll just have to um you know we'll just have to keep an eye on that uh, but we'll keep using pipe bombs for now because, I mean, they still keep continue to work really well. So got a little splash damage on everything. Yeah, so I think we're good to go, guys, for the Horde Knight. So more space. We got this, and we got the, the fences in that will help control them so they're not, you know, so they're stun locked when they're in the explosion chamber and, and are not doing as much damage whilst they're in there. And we'll see how that goes, uh, you know, for the next Horde Knight because, like I said, they just continue to get nastier and nastier. All right, so let's, uh, well, actually, we might as well just keep that open. There's no reason not to for now. All right, guys, we are back, and uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and do some more random POIs for the rest of this episode. But before we do that, we have some points to look at. We have two points available. We are currently working on agility. So we have run and gun two and hidden strike two. So in order to get the next 
Uh, and we have Flurry of Blows 1. Um, I don't know if this, each kill recharges stamina by 30 points. One-handed melee attack. I guess one-handed melee attack, does that just mean with one-handed weapons? I'm assuming that's what it means, because this is a one-handed sword, so that would really benefit this, but not necessarily the sledgehammer. Um, I don't know. I'll have to think about that a little bit more. I think so, you know, based upon that, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to keep pumping points directly into agility. Um, because I want run and gun and hidden strike up for sure. And we can put uh, the next point into executioner. And then, see, this is going to require agility 7. And this will require agility 10 if we decide to take it all the way up. We might not. We might just go to 7 and get cold-blooded killer and, and call it good. I'll have to think about this some more. Um, I mean, you know, the other thing though, too, is if we did ever decided to try clubs out or something else, you know, that's going to help, uh, with that too. So, okay. Anyway, let's go pick another house. We kind of started going down this direction. We've had all of these houses along here. We've already done the high school. We've already done this gun place. Uh, let's go and see what we got over this way. So we got a gym world. Um... This house and the oh yeah, that's right. We got this this spooky house over here. I'm thinking that might be like a whole episode though. So let's um let's hold off on that one. I, I am I do want to do that, but I don't think that's something we should start with only a half an episode left. All right, so let's just go ahead and bust on into to Gym World here. It's a smaller POI. It's not one I've been in before. And everybody in here is just kind of sleeping away. All right, well, let's wake them up. That didn't wake those other guys up, huh? All right. I do have a silencer on here. Okay, let's try Feral Biker here. Okay, we woke up some more this time. Trying to, um, I want to use my MP5 a little bit more. Those guys seem to have crap textures. I thought I turned all that on. Let me. I had to at, leave for a while and come back in real life. Um, there it goes. Man, I could have sworn I turned that on, but I guess I didn't. Okay. Okay, he's dead. Gym world. Okay. Not a very big uh, gym world. There's some canned food. We'll take that. Uh, let's check this. I got so much shit, you guys. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm, I, here's what I've been thinking. Oh, what's that? Look at that, man. That gives food, health, and water. That's kind of cool. Let's take one. An icy. Neat. Um, can I make those? I see. I see. Nope, guess not. That doesn't show up anyway. Uh, anyways, what I was saying is the traders in Ravenhurst just don't have very good stuff. I mean, they don't have any really high-end end-game stuff. Um, every time I've checked them, even with maxed out better barter, it's, you know, they just don't have anything that great. Um... And so, I'm just thinking, you know, it might not be worth my time and effort to to repair all the stuff I have to sell, like all the extra weapons and all the extra, you know, armor and tools and that sort of thing. Um, I'm thinking just sell it as is because, I mean, I've got piles of money and nothing really to buy with it, you know. I'm getting all my good... I'm getting all my good weapons and, and armor and stuff from, from loot and from, you know, from rewards and stuff like that. So, um, if the traders had good stuff, I would definitely take the time to, 
repair um, at least the higher end stuff and get maximum money for it. But I just don't really see the point in it. Um, so I think that uh, what am I what am I wearing for for pantalones? Oh, the hazmat pants. Okay. All right. We don't really need to wear those unless we're going into tier five, but I guess I have them on right now anyway. So yeah, I mean, I just don't see the point in uh, going to all that effort to make money that I that I have nothing to spend it on, kind of thing, you know. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. Probably the majority of because I'm just overflowed, uh, you know, overflowing with shit right now. <laughs> I've got guns up the wazoo, melee weapons up the wazoo. I thinned out my armor, but that's even starting to get, you know, uh, bogged down again. Nice. And so, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, if I have a, like, like a red level item, like a really high end item, I'll probably, you know, repair it. But for the, the majority of the stuff, I don't think I'm going to do that. So anyway, i uh, just let you guys know that. It's kind of a bummer, you know, because it, it makes the money part of this game... It nerfs it and makes it not fun and not really all that worthwhile, especially in the end game. It was kind of worthwhile in the early to mid game, but in the end game, eh, not so much, you know? Not so much. In my humble opinion, anyways, which you're all entitled to. <laughs> Birds? No, we got a greenie over there. All right, let's get a sniper shot off here. You did. All right. So let's see here. What do we got? That's it for this place, huh? No, like, in stash or anything in here. Did I miss something? Really? I mean, there's not, like, even a safe or anything in here. Huh. Okay, this is kind of a lame POI, <laughs> at least in terms of that loots. Unless, like I said, I'm missing something somewhere. But I'm not seeing anything. Let's go back and look back in here one more time. Any, like, holes in the floor, hidden plugs, that kind of thing? Yeah, okay, well, now we know. Now we know. Let's go on over to this blue house. We'll kill Jiggly here. Jiggly and uh, Creepy Crawly. And Nurse Nancy. We're not gonna we're not gonna have a cosplay Nurse Nancy anymore in Alpha 20. She's gonna be more like a real nurse with um with scrubs on and stuff. So enjoy her while you can, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay, I see a dog house here. Let's uh, let's go around this way and just look, take a look, see. Got some windows. I'm not sure how we're supposed to. Get in this place. I don't see any dogs, though. Oh, th through here? Alright, so we got Steve in there. There might be dogs in the house. I'm off with your head. Alright, let's just open this door. What's going on in here? We got a kitchen, a living room, a nurse Nancy, a couple of terrariums, it looks like. How many Zeeks are in there? Just two, I think. 
Alright. Is he dead? Yeah, he did. Not really a whole lot going on in there that I can set tell. Kind of a weird place for a medicine cabinet. Oh shit! Where'd he come from? He must have come from downstairs. Alright. Off with your head. Workbench. Washing machines. What's in here? Bathroom. Okay, let's take a look at this. We'll pick these up just to see if there's any safes behind the wall. Alright. Nothing there. A can of tuna. Food pile. Good. We need sh we need sham. Okay, I guess that's it for the the bottom floor. We might as well look here. Yeah, we already know that. We know most schematics by now. Let's head upstairs. Pretty sure this is where the cop came from. There's a trash bag up there and a small ammo pile. All right, let's check this. Nothing in there. Don't think there would be a safe behind this thing. Yeah, it's not a a normal uh, wall thing of a doodle that you take apart anyway. You know, wall thing of a doodles. Everybody knows what those are. I should actually be axing those doors because then I get hinges. Don't get hinges if I use this. That's eh, just a block. Some ammunition. Ah, what the hell, we'll look in the desk. I don't know why I bothered. <laughs> Let's not. No, 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 no. Use axe. Get hinges. Alright. Nothing really all that wonderful in there. Really just looking for fat loads more than anything. And bookshelves. Okay, scrap and scrap. You know, we do have some custom Ravenhurst quests. Here we go. Here's a fat loot that we could uh, start looking at. Sure, I'll learn that because I can. Food? That's a food pile. Interesting. Okay, let's see what's in the fat loots. All right. Nothing too terribly special, but it's okay, I guess. And I guess that does it for this house. Let's go in this room just for the hell of it and see what's in here. Away to the roof. And the, the, the hatch. The hatch is what I'm trying to say. Hatch is locked. Cardboard box. Another big food pile. And we're out of space. Okay, let's get rid of that. Um, We don't need those. We don't need those. We don't need those. We don't need those. We don't need that. Don't need those. And, okay, we'll keep everything else for the moment. The cardboard box with nothing in it. No thanks. Those will take. Nip, nip. I think we're good. Oh shit! <laughs> I thought there was glass there. Okay, so yeah, that wasn't uh, the world's best POI. 
It was okay, I guess, but not the world's best POI. So let's put some of this stuff in here. I'm going to take this just because I can. Free us up some space. I'm not going to take one cornmeal. Um, I can, you know, sell these for 32 a pop. So what the hell? I guess we will. Good enough. Whoops. I didn't mean to pick that back up. Okay. So, that leads us to this house, which we'll have to, like I said, save for a different episode. So let's go... Let's go check this place out. I think I... I think me and some friends stayed in this house last time I played a Multiplayer Darkness Falls. It's got a little bunker down here. Okay, we got a safe. Let's check it. Nice Winchester. Okay, we'll look at this. And the ammo pile. Check this. Um, yeah, I guess that's worth selling. The other thing isn't, but what ifs, man, what ifs. Okay, let's go through here. And with the sickness. It's always nice when you get to the point where you can one-shot an irradiated Zombo. Doesn't happen very often, but it's starting to happen, so that's good. All right, let's get in here. Get ready for some more resistance. Nothing in here. No safes. Got a couple of uh, dresser drawers, but that's it. Take this big food pile. All right. There is what looks to be a plug right there. Oh yeah, look at that. Weapons bag. Nice. Two Colt 911s and a really nice tack rifle. I'll take it. That was a good find. Alright, let's go upstairs. Alright, well, where do we start? Nobody's in here. All right, let's close that door. Nothing in there. Hey! He did. Let's kill you. Somebody come out of here? Let's check the medicine cabinets. And this has got to be something. Or not. Some recog. More grain alcohol. Yeah, we should check this for for uh, spoiled meat because I am making uh, whatever that gross food is that we eat. Hobos do. 
and still making fertilizer too, so. Oh, we'll take those. I'm not taking that other shit. We'll check the garment bag. Well, that would have been valuable when I still needed them. <laughs> no safe behind there. Okay, we better make ourselves a bridge. Another ammo pile. Why is there green alcohol in an ammo pile? Why? 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 Automatic weapons. Okay. We're hanging on to those until we get to one point away from the level that lets us make stuff. New stuff. Okay. Another ammo pile. That's what I would expect to find in an ammo pile. And then the gun safe. Another Winchester. A really high level one, too. All right. Cool. And a drum magazine mod. Yeah, that's pretty good stuff. We'll take it. We will take it. All right. I think we're done in this place. I haven't, of course, looted every single possible thing. But again, we're not really worried about doing that so much. All right, guys. Well, I think that probably wraps up our time together today. Uh, it was a good episode, man. We got, uh, is there something over here? Just water. Uh, you know, we got the horde base upgraded. I think it's going to work better for us. Got a couple of random POI loots in. And yeah, so it's a good day. Um, so let's see. We It's day 144, and the next horde's going to be on 147. We got the tier five apartment building there so we'll have to um figure out i'll have to figure out what i'm gonna do uh what we're going to do is there gas a tanks in here there is all right cool another another place for gas off with your freaking head man um, here, let's check in here. Hubcap mine. Yeah, we'll take it. Why not? This we're going to scrap. So I can take the gasoline out of here. I'll, I'll come back and refill it with the, with the can. Oh, what do we just, we just did here. Get rid of that. In fact, I'll probably maybe wrench this car. Well, the problem with that is I don't have any room. Unless there's a couple things we can put in the... Is there any loot in this place? I've been in this place multiple times for the gas, but I've never actually looted the whole thing. I know I'm like totally just destroying my outro, aren't I? <laughs> Let's just look at this room real quick. Let's just take a quick look. There's an upstairs. This is the kitchen. I don't see anything special in here. There is a cupboard, though. Those are bathrooms, I'm, I take it. What's that shenanigans? I don't know. Let me see if I can put a couple things in the bike. Okay, that freed us up a couple slots. Uh, I'm going to throw that away. And that there. And scrap this. Okay, it allows us to move a little bit more. Let's just run upstairs really quick and see what the hell's up here, because I've never actually been up here. Got an Arlene. Oh, there is a safe in there. And a couple of boxes of some sort. And a buzzard. Are you dead? Come here, you bastard. Big mama.
All right, firehouse. Gotcha. Okay, let's look in here real quick. More bathrooms. With some drug cabinets. Sure, we'll take that. Those are just basic crates with basic stuff in them. Okay, let's hit the safe. Okay, there you go. There's all the stuff. Okay. All right, now I'm going to let you guys go. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, we'll figure out what we're going to do in the next episode. I'm not sure what it is, but it'll be something. And uh, have a great rest of your day, guys. Bye-bye.